Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record your podcast and edit it right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need, and it's all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Them saying, I don't. Them saying, them saying, them saying, them saying, them saying, them saying, I don't know what you're saying. Them saying, them saying, them saying, them saying. I mean, I think that's just my style as I yell now. Okay. You know, it's not like... It's very Bill Burr of you. Yeah, it's just a direct ripoff, really. Yeah. I mean, like, are you really even a man if you're not, like, aimlessly yelling at people? If you're not telling a group... If you have a microphone, you should be telling a group what's what. You should be telling a marginalized group what's up. You should pick, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should be picking on uh, minorities and if yelling at them. Any other use of a microphone, that's a waste of time. Absolutely. Hump the, if you can. Hump, that's literally the, what I was thinking. Uh, if, yeah, <laughs> if you can turn the stool into um, some type of disenfranchised group before you hump it, because fuck them. Right. Like, if you're not using a stool as a sex prop, I don't know if you're even doing stand-up comedy. I know that you're not. Right. And that's a every stool, Joe Rogan. Every stool that I... Every stool that I have on stage with me when I perform, I make sure that there is a slit. For the vagina? Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. I prep my stools with a vagina and I really have sex with them. I just think I'm at a point in my life where I look like a bag of flour with like a pocket pussy attached to it, you know? No, I don't know. I mean, I, like, do you sympathize? No, but I don't <laughs> see that at all. I don't see how you're a bag of flour. Are you kidding? That's like what my body looks like. A bag of flour? Have you ever seen a bag of flour? Your body yeah. looks like a bag of flowers. Aww. But for real, though? What kind like, of flowers? Um, fruit. No! You look like a bag of, <laughs> bag of fruit? <laughs> yeah, maybe like the bruised up ones at the farmer's market. Yeah, you look like a bruised piece of fruit. Okay, roast battle. Calm down. Save it for the comedy store, please. Not bruised, but fruit. You look like f- women are not flower. They're flowers. That's going to be on my, that should go on my tombstone. Mm-hmm. And then instead of flowers on my grave, it's bags of, little bags of flour on my grave so that everyone can, can have a laugh while I'm dead. I'm just a bag of flour with a pocket pussy and a beach ball head. Okay. Beach balls are fun. Yeah. Have you ever been to a music festival? I have. What would a music festival be without beach balls? True. I always wanted to be one of the people that like, got to touch the beach ball and like hit it, but it never came over to me. You could never like really enjoy Avril Lavigne because your eyes were always on the beach ball and like not on Avril. Have you seen Avril Lavigne live? No. Okay, I don't think there's any beach balls at her concerts. <laughs> That's like a 21 Pilots sort of thing. You don't think there's ever been Or like been a, Cage the Elephant. You don't think there's ever been a beach ball at an Avril Lavigne concert in the history? No, of, no. You don't think uh, some rogue skater boy didn't sneak one in and start throwing it up? No, they don't like stuff like that. They aren't happy people. I hate skaters, for real. I hate all of them. What about Tony Hawk? 
whatever. He's like the queen bee of, or the queen ant of skateboarding. The queen ant? I was watching a nature documentary before this. Okay. And the queen ant. I don't even consider Tony Hawk a person. He's just more of a video game? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not like, oh, he's a real person with, like, thoughts and feelings. I'm just like, he's the guy from the No, thing. he's a video game. Okay, he's a, I guess, a, a meat shape with mm-hmm. wheels, trucks, and a board. Right. He also has a cool ride at Six Flags. Wow. Yeah, he doesn't really wear clothes when, he's, when he skateboards. He doesn't wear clothes or sh- no shoes anymore. It's just him and a board. I don't know if that's true or not, but, like, that's weird. Moving on. Yeah. I, um, before this, I was on Instagram, and this guy who I was, like, obsessed with in high school Elon posted... Musk. What? Elon Musk? No. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted um, to Anyways, <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. He... Posted, and I'm going to read it. He was like, it's, okay, it's photos of, like, uh, like news reports where it says, this is the new normal. And it said, every ad, commercial, and news report now has the line, the new normal in it. It is textbook social conditioning. Introduce an idea and keep repeating it until it's accepted as normal. We are being brainwashed into thinking this is a new normal. And it's like, okay, first of all, I'm not going to take, like, opinions from people that wear bucket hats unironically. And second of all, like, brainwashed into thinking this is the new normal, like, what is the motivation behind that? Preach. Why do men, like, what, okay... Is that the end of the sentence? Yes. Yes. Like, why do they think they can comment these corny ass, like, inappropriate things on my photos? They're just like, like, this guy commented, like, have you ever had sex while looking at yourself in the mirror? And it's like, literally die. Like, I hate you. And like, what kind of sad reality do you live in where you're just like, in your bed commenting weird ass shit on like, women's profile pictures? Like, for once... That photo wasn't even slutty. It was, like, normal. And they're, they're just like, TBW, like, uh, sex in the mirror. Like, ew! I hate that men feel like they can talk to me. They can't. Okay? That's the only and last time I'll say it. I'm tired of saying it. You cannot talk to me. You don't have the right to. So stop feeling like you're entitled to a conversation with me. It's not going to happen. Thank you. Unless you're polite. No. And cute. Yes. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> like four times. In not the even last polite. Week. Let's be honest. Just cute. That's all it is. It's well, not even. You keep saying men, cute, but what you really mean is like any man that you wouldn't fuck. Stop talking to you. That's really what. That's actually not true because, like, hot guys will talk to me, but they have shitty personalities. So they and they're boring. They gotta be polite. And they're creepy. They gotta be charming. Basically, if you're not already someone that I'm in love with, don't talk to me. <laughs> I've, like, okay, I'm at a point in my life where I've established the top five men that I am in love with, okay? And none of them live in the same city as me. Which is great. Another topic that we can talk about. Why do I always fall in love with people that don't live in the same city as me? Hmm. A real investigation that needs to happen. But it's like, okay, I've already had these guys that I'm in love with. I'm not looking for any new ones. So as long as you are not them, don't message me. Okay? Are you waiting for an answer? They're not on the call. No, I'm just like preaching. Oh, okay. Preach. I really yeah. support you in this. Yeah, and it's like, the funny thing is, like, some of these guys don't even talk to me regularly. Actually, most of them. Actually, like, all of them don't. So but The thing is, you're not looking for a stranger to just, like, hook up with. 
So, like, if they really want to hook up with you, they have to just be nice and polite and treat you like a person. How does that sound? It's like, like okay, if a guy wants to hook up with me, but he, like, only knows me from the internet, he's going to have to find a way to secretly convince me that we've already met in person and then start that relationship in person because if i know that a guy on the internet is interested in me i'll never even think like consider it so you have to trick me into thinking that like you're not from the internet dude you're giving away your secrets now people are going to take notes <coughs> men are going to take notes and now they're going to know how to get into your business yeah well no one's really trying anyways it's just like People that live super fucking far away, like, yay, are we going to have Zoom sex or something? Uh, Same for me. I've been talking to this, to this girl in South Africa. You couldn't get farther away. You could go to Antarctica. I think that's farther. There are only like 12 scientists that live in Antarctica. Well, then you're really fucking with a smart bitch, you know? Good on you. What do people from Antarctica, what are they called? If you were born in Antarctica, can you be born there? No. I don't think anyone's, like, naturally from there. Man, I've, my YouTube um, suggestions have been really messed up. What have they been? Um, just, like, animals eating other animals while they're, like, giving birth. Don't watch stuff like that. I, di- I know... I didn't want to, but YouTube's like, you know, what do you have to watch to get suggested that? That shit just makes me miss my mom, like watching stuff like that. It's just like, maybe I should talk to my mom more. Yeah. They, I would say this deer definitely should have talked to its mom more before meeting this Komodo dragon. Ew, Komodo dragons are ugly. You know that Jason Momoa looks like a Komodo dragon? I, so he's Jason Momoto dragon. I did not know that, but thank you for... He does look like one, though. Did you see when he takes his arms off and his body off and he's, like, skinny in the commercial? Yeah. And he has no hair. I don't think that's really true, how he looks. I don't think that's true, either. Who would win in a fight, Jason Momoa or The Rock? Um, The Rock. The Rock because Jason Momoa always dies in the show, Game of Thrones. I don't watch that, um, but The Rock has fighting experience. Oh, because of the, yeah, he, you know who he's wrestled against? Randy Savage, The Undertaker. Oh, wow. Full circle. But yes, Macho Man. Gosh, I love Macho Man. I had to censor myself right there. Gosh. (coughs) Gosh, I Um, love Macho Man. When he talks about being the cream of the crop, and he's got a little creamer, like a coffee creamer. mm -hmm. And then he keeps calling himself that over like five minutes, and he has like eight coffee creamers. He just keeps taking them out. (coughs) You don't even know where they're coming from. He's like, the cream always rises to the top. And then he like throws the coffee creamer at the interview guy. Perfect. Yeah, I remember we watched that video at my house right when quarantine started. I, I want to watch it like every day for the rest of my life. So. You know what I want to watch every day for the rest of my life? Still more girls? <laughs> no, The Notebook. Yeah? It's my favorite movie of all time. Like, it's so stereotypical for it to isn't yeah, it just a rip off of the like first, like the 10 minutes of the movie Up? Isn't that the same thing? Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Up came out way after The Notebook, dude. <laughs> the Notebook is from like 1999 or something. I've never seen Up. I just always thought... I I watched the beginning of Up. I haven't seen it though, but I, I know like what happens in the beginning. No, but the Notebook is so good. I just like watch it because 
it gives me like a fantasy that like maybe one day if I play my cards right, two guys will like me. See, I kind of think of another Ryan Gosling movie when I have my fantasies, and it's the one where he has uh, a relationship with that doll. He's in oh, love with the sex doll. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the name of that, but I, I oh Lars the something and the real girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've that's, seen that one. That's more my. That's more my. I more relate to that. But you can make that happen easily. Well, technology and SpaceX is getting crazy. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with SpaceX right now, but apparently something's happening in a few days. Do you know so what it is? They were supposed to go to space today. Why? And then uh, Earth was like, no. So the weather was bad. Um, they're going... Elon Musk is in charge of it. It's a private... It's the first private expedition into outer space so it's pretty monumental i guess but what are they doing there i didn't um listen or they didn't talk about it they didn't go into that because they had to cancel so and then i didn't look it up i think they're just testing you know i think the first time you go because they've been really smart about it they've been really safe about things they're probably just like i don't know how about this? I have no idea. All right. As a man, you kind of try to pretend like you know stuff you don't know. You try to bullshit your way out of it. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's just what I was doing. But that's something men do. I don't think women do that as much. I don't even know anymore. And it's like, do I care? Like, <laughs> I don't want to talk to anyone ever again. I'm just like exhausted. I love quarantine. That's something that by you like way. to hear from your podcast partner i just you don't, don't want to i just don't want to talk to anyone ever again and you're like well and then episode four was the last one i guess because uh as okay, you heard Antonio, you're implying that i think of you as a person i'm more than that to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was For like real. last last night i was at the bar until 2 a.m and yeah. like i had my social interaction for the next two months so i'm good it's true like <laughs> i'm i'm used that's actually how much i hang out normally is like well a couple times a week or something i can't remember the last time i like kissed anyone don't even get me started on sex but like it's like wow it's been a really long time like I'm lonely. Yeah. Well, it's not all it's made out to be. Someone I always think it gets is. their someone always gets their feelings hurt eventually when you kiss me. Them. See? You know that I've never been the one to end a th- like a, a thing with a guy. Ever. I almost thought you were gonna say a threesome. I've never been the one to be like, I don't wanna do this anymore. They always do it to me. Yay. Well, I do it for some, some re- sometimes it's not even fair. Like, this girl just said she was bored, entertain her, and then I blocked her. That's, like, stupid that you would block her over that. I know, it was irrational. But also, I think it was accumulation of annoying texts. Yeah. So, I'm going to give myself a pass. But Were you, also, like, hooking up with her? No. No, she oh, wasn't I'm talking even, about like I met her one time. Things, yeah. I had met her one time and then like we were I was on the road and she was back where I was living. So you want to dump someone? Yeah. For once. Or maybe just not be dumped. Well, if you can't get dumped, you know like that meme with the black guy and he's like smart? Yeah, he's pointing. You pointing. love that meme by the way. You I, always like I love it. It's so perfect, but it's like can't get dumped (laughs) if you don't get into a relationship. Right. So that's you right now. Yeah, I mean, like, no one wants to date me, so I guess it's, like, the same. Like, 
It's liberating. I can't get dumped. I can't get dumped because no one wants to date me. That's going to be my first merch. That's going to be that on shirt. Um, <laughs> with a bag of flour, a pocket pussy, and a beach ball head. Your shows are going to be such a bunch of single, depressed people, mostly women, mm -hmm. that are just going to flock to you. And... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a great place to pick up chicks, your shows. And you're welcome, America. Because but they're hopefully be, like, depressed and they just want someone to, you know, f play footsie with. But hopefully, like, they will have unrealistically high standards for men just like me. They'll be like my little minions. That's beautiful. I love... Um, I love a four that thinks she deserves an eight, you know? That's me. That's literally me. Like, um, excuse me, four. Why do you think that you deserve twice your number? What do all these four, what do all the fours do? What are they supposed to do? Who are they supposed to date? They're supposed to die. <laughs> like, at that point, why even live, you know? That's what I ask myself every day. When I'm looking in a mirror, you know, what's the point of going on when I look like this and people treat me like shit? Wow, that got really depressing. And my nipple got hard when I said that. <laughs> I think anyone can be two numbers above what they are. I think any 10 can be a 12. Any zero can be a two if they play their cards. Oh, right. yay, I'm finally a two. <laughs> can you imagine if you looked like what was an objective two in this world because you're not a yes two. i can imagine you're not a you're not a gosh darn two gosh it's so it's so like obvious and like almost everyone that is listening to you say this stuff they're all eyes in the back of their head same thing Rolling in no the back. No one can do it as good as they me. They don't think you're at zero for self. It's like a two. Okay, one then. One. <laughs> Nobody thinks you're a one on the scale of one of zero to ten. <laughs> I'm a one and each boob gets 0 0.5. Actually, I don't so know. So I don't even have a face anymore. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's zero to ten. I think it's one to ten, right? I don't think it's z I don't think you could be a zero. I think that's just like you don't exist. You're a zero. <laughs> No, you can be a zero. You can be a zero. So, like, imagine if you're a zero. Okay? Imagine what that yeah. looks like. A zero. Zero. Right. right. And now that's what you think you look like? A zero? Yes. I personally, like, okay, obviously I have, like, a really bad, like, self-image, like, body problem thing. I feel like my face has, like, no identifiable, like, features and it's kind of just like blank and like boring and like looks like a piece of clay so like yeah i think i'm a zero i think i look like nothing that's so fucked up you don't understand what it's like to be an actually ugly person actually ugly. i do i'm talking uncomfortable other people in the room are uncomfortable because you're there you have like yeah. a, you have like cliffs and valleys built into your enormous face and head that has like patches of just growth and hairy moles on your scalp and just smells like cheese, bad dreams, all that stuff. This like dude who literally just started stand up comedy and like doesn't know me at all tagged me in this meme that's like that said um fuck it said this is how ugly bitches with big tits take photos and i was like i don't even know you and i brought it up to him in person and he was like sorry someone peer pressured me into doing it and i was what? like cool so two people think i'm ugly <laughs> that's yeah i mean you're making a good point that he didn't need to bring up that another person also yeah. signs off on it. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, They're don't like worry. Discussion. You're like mad that it was done. He's like, don't worry. 
other people also think this. Yeah, I know. It, like, <laughs> like they're like looking through memes together, and then there's one about ugly bitches, and they go, "Oh, that reminds me of Grace." <laughs> no, I think it's more like they look up ugly bitches with the intention, like I want to tag something and I want to bring bring down Grace so that she will think so little of herself she'll give me a text back jokes on you buddy i already think so lowly of myself i mean you can't even comprehend i think so lowly of myself that i was just happy that someone tagged me in something people it didn't even like, matter that it was a meme about being ugly people are negging you not realizing how negative your life is already true so that doesn't work on Neg like you neg someone whose life people. is like like Jennifer Lopez. If you want to steal her from Alex Rodriguez, you could probably have to neg her at this point because she's such a Jennifer Lopez right now. Yeah. But Grace, I don't think you have to do that to her. She's not quite up yet. She's not Jennifer Lopez yet. She could be like negging is like bringing someone down so they'll stoop to your level. But it's like you can't go down further than where I already am physically. Yeah. It's just impossible. But I mean, this guy wasn't even negging me because he wanted to fuck. He's just a little cunt, bitch. Pussy ass, motherfucker. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Women don't do that to straight men, thank God. Because it's like, we don't care. <laughs> like, we don't. Like, But that's why the thing. Men... He does care. That's the thing. He does Ugh. care. That's why. He's pretending. It's like, why do men go out of their way to, like, do these petty things? It's like, get a motherfucking life. Like, get a life. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't even understand how people have the energy or the time. Sorry, not people. Men have the energy or time to do half the shit that they do. It's like, give up on whatever you're trying to achieve. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. And I'm tired, and I'm done, you know? Exhausted, tired, oh. and done. Yeah. And it, it's like, I'm so tired of it that my body isn't even on this physical realm anymore. It's like disintegrated into like 10,000 million ashes, and I'm just not even here. I'm blowing in the wind on fucking Galveston Beach, like dying right now, because it's like, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just done. Stop commenting on shit, men. And I hate when fucking men comment gifts, those stupid little happy gifts, it's like, shut your ugly ass mouth up before I do it for you. Okay, I'm done. And I think you know you're winning because you not you don't let the comments affect you. <laughs> I mean, they don't, like, make me feel bad about myself. I just, like, think that they're really annoying. Like... In the most literal sense of the word. Right. Like a negative comment makes you want to slap the person, but you can't. Like, okay, literally, my message requests on Facebook are the wild, wild motherfucking West, dude. Crazy shit goes on in there. This guy was messaging me and he was like, Whoa, you have big boobs. Ha ha, not to sound obvious. No response. Just shove your fucking tits in my face, bitch. No response. Hey, why aren't you replying? No response. Oh, I like the you know if one. you want to, <laughs> You know if you want to get laid, all you had to do was ask, and it's like a person without a fucking profile picture. That's another thing I don't get. Men who I don't know will be like, well, if you want to fuck, just hit me up. Like, like I'm going to go over to a seemingly faceless stranger's house to have sex. It's like, yeah, I'm fucking desperado, but not that much. That's just, like, sad, border borderline, like, depressing, borderline, like, get help, you know? See, faceless stranger sounds like your type. No. I don't have... My type is just, like, guy that doesn't like me back. Wasn't Faceless Stranger that song by George Michael? Yeah. It's actually God, careless I'm whisper, like, but Yeah, I know. Um editing uh, I'm everything like, out. Editing my life out of this podcast. Same. I'm like editing my entire personality out of my life. 
I can't do it anymore. That's a wrap. Stop. Okay, like three times in the past week, I've gotten the same message from different men. And it goes like this. Oh, I'm like the male version of you. Oh, okay. What? That doesn't exist. Okay. There is not and never will be a male version of me. Okay. It literally goes against everything I stand for. The end. You know, people are going to think this is a feminist podcast. It's not. It's just a I'm tired podcast. What are you drinking? Gasoline? You can hear me drinking? I just heard a uh, liquid. I'm drinking peach tea right now. Uh, peach tea. I'm like a vegan now. What is a fuzzy navel? Is that when you're like Italian and your belly button has hair in it? I couldn't say I don't like white people. See, now Italians aren't all white. Yeah, they are. Mm -mm. Okay. Not Sicilians. <laughs> what? Sicilians are part black. Is that true? Yeah, I saw it in a movie. Christopher Walken explained it. From actually, what I've heard, all actually that's backwards. Dennis Hopper told it to Christopher Walken, but yeah. Why I don't know. It's just them? like different kinds of. I mean, actually, once you get to America, Italians are white now, but I don't think they always were. Mm -hmm. I think Italian people are really annoying. Really? I'm sure you have yeah. a lot of Italian friends that you don't even know they're Italian. Well, it, I uh, none that are proud to speak on it, obviously, because I don't like know anyone who is. So when they get in groups, they're Italian. They're kind of <laughs> yeah, they're Italian. When they get in groups, they're annoying. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like Italians have dope food, you know, but this whole like attitude they have is annoying as fuck. <laughs> their like, attitude sucks it's well because all their mothers love them and then they have this confidence that's like well my mom thinks i'm cool so every other girl should love me as much as my mom loves me yeah anyone who's like confident in life looks good and like their family loves them i automatically hate them because i can't relate to any of those things said above so that's the real truth behind it that's why I hate Italians. Wee woo, wee woo. What's your favorite Italian food? Um, oh, gnocchi. Is it just because of how it's spelled? No, it's really good. Have you never had it? It is so good. I know. Wait, I gave you some at my house. Um, no, I don't think. Yes, you did. Yeah, it was great. And was that your first time having it? No, I like gnocchi. Oh. I listen. I used to work at Olive Garden, so. Do they have it there? We got it while I was working there. We got gnocchi. Yeah, it's so good, but I feel like I'm not saying it right. It's like gnocchi. Like you have to like <laughs> emphasize the end. Like it's like not enough to say gnocchi. It's like gnocchi. So, like, the G is, like, an emphasis on the N somehow? Yeah. You know what it is. It's not gnocchi. Oh, no. It's, it's not gnocchi. I know it's gnocchi, but it's, like, gnoc it's like gnocchi, right? No. Yeah, it's like you're, like, gnocchi. a bratty. No. Gnocchi. Yeah, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Forget <laughs> about it. I'm getting hungry. Just this uh, prejudice. Um... Uh, on Italians that turned into now just celebrating their delicious cuisine. It's a beautiful thing. Like, how can yeah, you I mean, hate like, people? Have you had their food? Like, almost all races and ethnicities have delicious food if you really find the right Except dish. white. White people eat great food, you know, like uh, potato salad mm. and uh, a ham, a, a piece of ham. Ew. 
I hate ham, dude. It's a like bagel? the worst thing ever. How about an English muffin with with uh, butter on it? I'm vegan. That's it. You, oh, so no butter. <laughs> I don't really like English muffins. They like remind me of what my dad would eat for breakfast during elementary school, and he would like be mean to me. <laughs> He would just, like, nibble on an English muffin and be mean? Yeah, like, okay, my dad was one of those dads that, like, during the summer break, he would buy us math textbooks to do, like, for practice. (laughs) And we would, like, do school, and it was fucking awful! My dad was the same way. He made me have school during the summer. And then if I did all the homework that he'd make me do, then I could have a video game for the weekend. So... It was pretty much worth it, but man, it was not worth it. I like tried and like rebelled from that. But well, by the time high school came around, I was so sick of math, I couldn't pay attention because I had been learning it since I was five, algebra and stuff. I was just like over it. I liked lunch. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> like lunch in high school because. I would, like, see the guy who took my virginity and, like, my best friend who he ended up hooking up with and taking to prom. We love to see it. I would have to see them together. I had a a girl who I was dating for, like, two days find out that I was trying to date another girl while we were dating, and then she knocked my food out of my, my food tray out from my hands like and everything flew all over the lunchroom and then her friend punched me her friend that i had known for many years who was also my friend but why would you try to do that though do what try to date another girl while you're dating a girl well it wasn't like any any of it wasn't it wasn't like real set in stone you know like we're hanging out oh that is just typical entitled male bullshit. Like, literally. Oh, I, I wasn't hate, in the right. Hate, I was. Hate, hate. I was fifteen. I wasn't in the right. I was just. It all started when this one girl, AM, AIM, messaged me. Right, she messaged me that she saw me at the football game and thought I was cute. And then I went over to her place and we were kissing. And then the next day oh I went over God. to her place again. And then her. All of a sudden, her friend showed up, and then I liked her friend because she was like, I liked her friend more as soon as I saw her. And then the whole time, though, I liked a different girl who I was, like, chasing so much. Like, guys chase you kind of, but, like. No, they don't. So, like, there's these two girls, and there's this main girl that I really liked. And then the main girl found out I was dating these other girls, and she's like, now I like you because... Now I want to control you because so she like then she like wanted to date me and she's like, but you got to wait two weeks so that your girlfriend doesn't know you left her for me. But then someone found out about the whole plan and that's when it all went down in the lunchroom. Time for shout outs. Shout out to Michael Paris. He's got a show at 9 p.m. Central on Sunday nights called Fireside Chat. It's on twitch.tv slash cabin fever live stream. Check that out. Shout out to Adam Walker. What's up, dude? Shout out to Aaron Michaels. He wants to promote safety because he's going to kick Jim's ass. And Grace or him and in love, you like to say. So shout out to Aaron. Shout out to Pip Barrows. Hey, Pip. And Tom Gray. What's up, Tom? Thank you guys for commenting in the post. If you want to be on a future episode, make sure to go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash T-A-B-F-P, and comment in the post when we look for shoutouts. So there we go. Back to the show. Do you know who Jesse Kirsten is? No. She's hilarious. And her special is on Amazon Prime, which I feel like is a good place for a special to die. Absolutely. I I could not agree more. Amazon Prime? Like, if my first special is on Amazon Prime, I don't think anyone's even going to be happy for me. Yeah, like, it's just, like, normal, you know? They're going to be like, ew. What do you think about the YouTube specials? I think it's a bad look. It's like, oh, Netflix wouldn't book me, so I'm just going to put it out on YouTube? Yeah. 
It looks bad. I feel like Netflix would have booked Mark Norman. I mean, what's what's your what's the best YouTube special you've ever seen? I haven't seen any YouTube specials. Exactly. There's and I've no only prestige. seen. I've only seen one Amazon Prime special to completion, and that was Brent Weinbach. I think he sounds funny. Have you never seen him before? No. Oh, he's hilarious. So it can be done. You can have a good one. He's the only one. Well, and Jesse Kirsten. Yeah. Believe me, you'll like it. Actually, I don't know. I'm not going to assume I know what a woman thinks. Look at you being progressive. I'm pretty good at uh, amending my impulses. That's what you have to do as a man. You have to take the thought that comes to your head and you have to edit it every time. Speaking of like random men talking, okay, this one guy on Instagram messaged me and was like, do you live off of Fountain View? Oh, whoa. Knows where you live? I don't know why like I, I did this, but I was like, we had like mutual followers and I was like, nah, I live off what bleep my street name out though um and he was like want to smoke and i was like no and now he keeps responding like damn you should have just come over and it's like who the fuck are you like okay first of all weird that you're asking a stranger to come over but like it like makes me think that you think so lowly of me to think that I would go do that. I wish that I could do that. I wish that it would ever work. I know it doesn't, but like, I wish that you could just see a girl, stalk her a little bit, ask if she lives somewhere, and then she comes over and wants to hang out with you. I wish that was that it was that easy. It's not easy with men. You can totally, I could totally message a guy and be like, do it. And like they would. Yeah. That's what happened to me at the football game. Oh my god, you're fucking player. She's like, were you at the football game? I was like, yeah. She was like, you're cute. Then it was on. And then I ruined like four lives. Oh my god. <laughs> including my own. Definitely including my own. I peaked when I was in a sophomore in high school. I hope I haven't peaked yet because like my life has been stupid and bad. A peak for a man is like... Definitely 40s. <coughs> you think so? Oh, yeah. What defines, like, a peak for a man? And, <coughs> like, they're always fucking women and being assholes, so it's like, what is even peaking? Like, peak success. Oh, well, I wouldn't know about that. I only date fucking losers for some reason. They, like, have no ambition in life. If you think of the it most successful like, men in the world and you look at them when they were 40, they were probably doing something with that, you know? Yeah. They're peaking. I also I didn't live to 40, like Kurt Cobain. You can't say that about him. True. I don't think he would have been peaking at 40, though. I think, <laughs> I think like... He peaked right before he died. Oh my gosh. Can you that is some dark shit, but yeah. Can you imagine if Kurt Cobain made it to forty, what his life would have been like at that point? Like I think I imagine Kurt Cobain at forty would be out of the spotlight. You think he'd living, be in Foo Fighters? No. I don't think Foo Fighters would have ever existed if Kurt Cobain uh lived, and that would have been amazing. You think that would have been we would have been better off without Foo Fighters? Absolutely. I think I mean it was a mistake. It's not good. And I, I challenge anyone to say otherwise. I want to find someone who says that Foo Fighters is their favorite band. I don't think it exists. I like it Foo Fighters. It can't be anyone's favorite band. They don't I, have any favorite band qualities. I like I like their I like their music. But they're not your favorite band, like. No. 
Like, if they were coming Hell to Houston, no. would you be like, you think, like, oh my god, I need to see Foo Fighters? That sentence just sounds wrong. Yeah, it's not natural, and it's not okay. But Everlong is really good. It's whatever. Foo Fighters is literally music for men that live in the suburbs and want to cheat on their wives. <laughs> and that's it. I'm done. Really? Yeah, I'm done. That's they have it. that song. They have that song that's so inspirational. Yeah. Do you think that men need okay. inspiring okay. music to go and cheat on their wives too? No, like I think they, they, they need the confidence up. to look at themselves in the mirror when they're obviously that balding. Okay, but Foo Fighters music is what men listen to on the radio in the car in their suburban town when they're driving into work thinking about cheating on their wife with a younger woman. Okay. Or what about, what about with an older woman? No, they don't do that. that would, how would you feel, though, if you were one of these suburban wives and then your husband's cheating on you, but it's with an older woman, woman? I could never be a suburban wife because that would mean someone would want to marry me, which also would mean that someone wanted to date me. And none of those things are plausible things that could happen in this lifetime. What about an arranged marriage? No, they would look at me when they're walking to the altar and be like, bye. <laughs> Fuck off, fatty. Wow. How many, yeah. um, how many goats do you think you're worth? I think I would actually need to give someone goats to look at me. So I don't think anyone's giving me anything. I think I owe them. Well, it's your father, I think. They give the goats to your dad. Yeah. So you think that he's got to send you with goats, too, on top of Yeah. He's like, please, just take her off my hands. She's eating oh. all my food. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having a mental breakdown. Those were the days when you could get a wife and goats. What a deal. These days, my goats are my wife. Am I right, farmers? Boom, boom. Shh. Do you think a lot of farmers listen to this? Yeah. Do you think that they put this on while they're out baling the hay? No, I think they put it on in the dead of night when they're alone. In their barn or wherever farmers sleep. <laughs> Do you think our, our voices are echoing off the inside of some barn right now? God, I'd hope so. Do you think that the cows are like, gosh, will they just shut the fuck up? But some guy's got us on a Bluetooth speaker in the barn and we're just echoing off the walls. You think farmers have Bluetooth speakers? Or I don't know, maybe they took our file and then they burned it to a CD or a tape so they could listen to it while they're feeding the hogs. Listen to us on a tape. Cassette. Feeding the hogs is what my ex used to call having sex with me. Is that true? No. But he's such a compulsive liar, backstabbing, two-faced bitch that he probably said some shit like that. While like looking at me and being like, "Oh, I love you." I don't know why people, dude. I all the TV shows I watch, they're always like, "I'll always love you." That is such a bullshit phrase. Like, you literally won't. The last guy that told me that, like, that obviously did not happen. Like, it's always the people that tell me I'll always love you, who are the ones that I like never speak to again, and like ghost me. Well, yeah, because. They're compensating. In order to always love someone, the only way to really do it is to show it. And to show it takes a whole lifetime. So those words don't mean anything until it's like been done. And by that time, it's like the beginning of up. It's over. I'm just like tired. I feel like you can tell. Like I just can't with the effort in the whole thing anymore. So you won the lottery, I hear. Or uh, AKA, you got unemployment. Do you want to uh, brag about that a little more? I don't know if I can truly brag about it without like, like, um, admitting to tax fraud. 
Do you think the FBI is going to listen to take a break from porn with Grace Kirk and Antonio Aguilar? Maybe. One of these incel cunts that follow me on Facebook might listen to it and report me to the IRS. If we did get reported to the government, wouldn't that be great for our listener numbers? Yeah. We could pay our lawyers with our streaming revenue. And then it all goes to that. Like, we're, we have a really successful podcast, but all of our revenue is going to pay our lawyers because Grace is f- defrauding the government. Yeah. It would still be a success, and I'd still be happy to be, like, famous, but not rich because all the money is going to pay IRS lawyers. But, you know. But yeah, I did get my unemployment. It was a lot of money. It was in the yes. higher, it was in the higher thousand region. Um, so I'm rich now, which begs the question: Like, can I pay for a guy to care about me? Find out next time on Take a Break from Porn with Grace Kirk and Antonio Aguilar. Wow, you sound very excited about the next episode. So you, you're going to start trying to buy a guy? Yeah. I mean, if that's what it takes. I just want anyone to treat me well. Did no. you see uh, the woman who was in my DMs trying to uh, tell me that she wanted to be my sugar mama? Yeah, how'd that go? Um, We're still talking on WhatsApp a little bit. I mean, I really wait a long time before responding because I'm just like already bored of it going on. Like clearly this is a scam person. That's just, you know, must have like mm-hmm. 20 of these guys and eventually they're going to blackmail one of them and then get paid, which is kind of like a good business plan. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I need oh, to like- start making some people up and then black and then getting them to say stuff over the phone or something and then recording it or like show their dick or that yeah be like i mean that's what those whole like scams are yeah you like facetime with a hot girl and then she takes a screenshot of your dick that happened to you right (laughs) oh um only because it's i mean a lot of the time it's you know it actually is a person the a woman but it did happen one time, yes, on the road. <laughs> oh my god! I like hate the way that they show female masturbation on Pornhub. It's like painful looking. Yeah. Oh god! It's like, what are you even <laughs> fucking doing? Like. I hear you. Let me just say though, I didn't. They didn't win because I didn't pay them anything. I just uh, successfully got rid of them. How so? It sounds like I had them killed, doesn't it? Almost. Yeah. But no, um, I just like Googled it and they're like, yeah, if this happens to you, just know that they're doing this to like all these different guys all the time. And so as long as as, if you don't pay them, someone else will. So they're just going to lose interest. Yeah. I mean, what was the threat though? Were they saying they were going to like send it to your family or something? Yeah. I would just delete my family off my profile. Um, yeah, it's kind of like what I did. Oh, is that why you made used to be Antonio Aguilar? <laughs> oh, no. No, this, that was like a year or two ago. Oh. It's unrelated. But um, <laughs> that's funny, though. That'd be a really funny reason. <laughs> yeah, you got blackmailed by... Girls in oh man! But the thing is, I wouldn't even be like. That was part of it that I wasn't even that embarrassed of it. So I wasn't really that scared, because I mean, come on, I'm a comedian and I have like half of my acts about porn. You know, my family would just be like, you know, that's kind of fucked up, Tony. But I mean, you know, we get that you're in the entertainment business. Mm-hmm. It's not like I'm trying to be president. Then maybe it w- I would care. They might have these pictures somewhere like hidden or on their like hard drive. And if I run for president one day, it's definitely going to come out. 
I've thought about that. I'm like, if I ever become famous, there's a lot of shit that people can post about me. <laughs> well, you can just confess into the podcast and then you don't have to wait for it. Just let it rip. I just have like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of nudes out there. Like a lot. That. Not as many as, or not as easily accessible as a lot of women, so. Yeah, I mean. You can't Google Grace Kirk nudes and find anything. My nudes were posted on 4chan, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, little known fact about me. I've been doxxed a number of times on 4chan. Well, I feel like if you haven't, then you're ugly. Well, there you go. That's full circle, baby. Right back to the ugly. I'm just saying that if you've never been doxxed on 4chan, you ugly. I mean, I've seen ugly people be doxxed, so it's it's a two-way street. <laughs> yeah, Maybe but. they just want me to die because I'm that ugly, and that's why they're doxing me. They're giving out my address so people can swat me. Isn't the, inter- the internet... God damn it. Isn't the internet grand... It's a really beautiful and happy place. If you meet somebody on the internet, can you say you intermet? That's pretty clever. People who hate puns, they really hate them. Like, passionately hate puns. They're okay. I mean, I don't feel either way about them. They can be good. They're really just jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Most clean jokes are puns. That's true. Yeah, I don't know why people hate them. They can't write them. No, dude. Most clean jokes are, Mommy, why are you awake at 3 in the morning eating ice cream? It's because of you! <laughs> dry bar comedy, if you like. I could just see that killing. Couldn't you see that killing at dry bar? Yes, dude. That would, like, murder! <laughs> <laughs> That would be, like, the hottest, like, joke they've ever heard. Like, Who would that be would saying like, it, though? Who would be the per- Rosie O'Donnell? Well, will you bleep out the name that I say? Okay. <laughs> I think that's who I was thinking of when I made that. Dude, yo, like, she totally ghost wrote that joke in our minds. I, I think I've seen her do that joke at this point. That's fantastic. That is, like, amazing. That's what it is. Either her or the guy with all the neck tattoos. Dude, literally, if you type in, like, neck tattoo, it it goes to neck tattoo dry bar guy, neck tattoo comedian guy, neck tattoo comedian married, question mark? Ooh. Which that's I only found good. out he is. That, that's gonna feel good when you Google your name and it's like, who are they dating? Are they married? Feet. I'm just gonna Google myself with like those phrases below um, enough times to where it comes up on Google. First one's gonna be like, how tall is she? I- I'm gonna type in, how is Grace Kirk so beautiful? How is Grace Kirk still single? Grace Kirk. Young, Grace Kirk hot, <laughs> Grace Kirk talented. Um, what is Grace Kirk's net worth? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to Grace Kirk? That already is one. <laughs> At 22, people are asking, Whatever happened to Grace? Yeah, she's dead. Did you know that uh, someone named Grace Kirk is a uh, Basketball player in the NWA? I did know that. Wait, not, not NWA. WNBA. <laughs> I did know that because I've Googled myself like a million times. Yeah. Um, and then if you type in Grace Kirk, um, it comes up Kirk Franklin in your grace. That comes up a lot. Were you named after that song? Um, no. Is it a good song? It's like gospel, I think. I don't know. It's not really my thing. It's like okay. church music. It's like Christian stuff. 
Grace is a nice name. I don't like it. I have like name dysphoria with it. Gracie? Ew, I hate being called that. Did your grandma call you Gracie? I never had any grandparents. They all died. Wow. When like in the Holocaust? No, because then they wouldn't have even been able to have my parents. Just guessing. 9-11? No, like, my dad's dad died in the Navy. Um, And then I think all three of my other parents, grandparents, died from cancer. Well, I just want to be respectful and say, you know, salute to your grandpa in the Navy and Hope they can cure cancer in the name of your other grandparents. Yeah. You know how they have those billboards when... Do, I think we might have already talked about this, but... You know how they have those billboards about the cancer center and they cross out cancer? But it's crossed out. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, they're, they're ridiculous. You don't get to cross it out yet. You have to cure it first. Then I know, it's it literally it. not Maybe. cured. Okay, MD Anderson is like, hey, um... Yeah, so we're going to charge you $4 million for cancer treatment, and you'll eventually get over it. But that's about after two years of rigorous chemotherapy that will make you sick enough to the point where you want to die. And then when you finally are in remission, we're going to put a little cross-out cancer thing, but you might get it back in a few years. So we'll uh, keep in touch, babes. Like, that's literally MD Anderson. Like... They have not found the motherfucking cure for cancer, okay? I think it's diet and exercise. That's, like, what my mom says to everything. I'm just, like, I'm depressed, and she's, like, diet and exercise. She just, like, wants me to lose weight so bad. It's, like, so obvious. So I just, like, am now because I'm, like, tired of her bothering me about it. Don't you love how... uh oblivious parents are when they're clearly making their kids feel bad and it's going to make them less successful by like shoving it in their face yeah my mom is literally always like let's go on a walk together it's like yeah we know you think i'm fat like cool I'm like like i don't have enough people telling me that already like my mom has to too maybe she does want to just go on a walk with you no, she doesn't. She wants me to exercise. Because now that I've been dieting, she doesn't say, let's go on a walk anymore. We just sit there. I'd be like, let's do some coke. Yeah. Same effect. I've never understood how cocaine makes people skinny, but like, whatever. I think it makes anything interesting or something. I don't know. I don't find anything interesting when I'm on it. I'm just like, I want to have sex and die. But that's me without it, too. So I guess it doesn't do anything. I want to have sex and die. Now that's merch. Yeah. And then a photo of me with flower body, beach ball head, pocket pussy. I can see it now. And then, like, giant tree trunk legs that's what my legs look like like uh lord of the rings the trees yeah exactly that's what it looks like when i walk around i used to like date this guy who would call my legs like tree trunk legs and i was like okay cool that's like endearing (laughs) like why are you treating me like shit i like tree trunk legs Now I just feel bad about myself and I'm depressed. Well, don't. Okay. I'm cured. (laughs) Wow, talking to a 22-year-old woman is so exhausting. Being one is pretty exhausting. You can't get it right. You can't say anything right. Yeah. You can just say things that are wrong, but you can make a joke. And if it's good, then it'll make her forget for a second that she's miserable. I think actually talking to women in their early 20s is possible. I'm just like so mentally ill that I'm not legally even considered a person anymore. That's not how mental illness works. 
doesn't change well, the laws. Yeah. You think your mental illness will make it so that it's it's legal to say you're not a person? I don't think that's how mental illness works at one all. One can dream. I think you're like you're a narcissist to the point where you think that your mental illness changes the law. Oh my god, you're thinking too much into it. That's just something that people say that never think about anything. Yeah, I don't think about anything. How can I? I don't even have an internal monologue. <laughs> Do you talk to yourself? No. Never? I'm one of those people that doesn't have an internal monologue. Hmm. So, like, I don't hear my own voice in my head, and I don't talk to myself in my head. I don't hear anything in my head. Wow. Really? Your whole life? Yeah. Have you ever tried to lot. just have one? No. I don't like it. There's a lot of people that don't have internal monologues. It was like a trend on Facebook that they were like talking about for a while because apparently it's like incomprehensible to people with internal monologues. I know. I can't believe it. My internal monologue is going nuts right now. I just think in images and videos, like instead of words. Smells are memorable for me. Me too. I have like smell deja vu where like sometimes i'll be doing something and then i'll smell <laughs> something that like reminds me of a guy that i was obsessed with and then i'll be like sad sadness through your nostrils mm -hmm. by calvin klein no that's not the calvin klein cologne but that's a great one that's Sa a tommy bahama cologne dude sadness <laughs> through your nostrils <laughs> It's like $13 at Ross. At a Macy's near you. <laughs> Soon to be out of Ross. Not, a, not even Macy's. It's like new at Ross. It's like, it's not even secondhand. Like, it's new It's sold at, at Kmart exclusively. Sold at Blockbuster Video. Yep. Right next to the Raisinets. And then there's sadness through your nostrils. I ghost wrote that perfume. There is one blockbuster left. I know. Where is it? It's like in Oregon or something. Yeah. It gets so much press. And every like time there's something catastrophic that happens, they always make a story about, well, everyone's losing their business, but guess who's surviving? The one blockbuster in <laughs> Oregon. Yeah. They're like, I heard your uncle died from coronavirus, but guess who didn't die? <laughs> this blockbuster in Oregon. <laughs> Yeah, like when there when there was a lot of people dying from there still is a lot of people dying from cor coronavirus, and they would have the commercials telling you how many thousands and records broken. It's every day. It's like record broken, record broken. We broke it again, mm -hmm. and then they'd be like, and now for some hope, and they'd show one person in a wheelchair that recovered, like getting rolled out of a hospital to like a parade of celebration. But it's just like one person, and they're talking about like. 100,000 people died and it's like now for some hope this one person survived it's like this doesn't this isn't enough hope it's not enough hope at all but anyway <laughs> that's just like the blockbuster it's like it's not enough business to stay in business to make up for how shitty things are msmb or regular nbc but anyways i just see blockbuster video in a wheelchair getting pushed out of a hospital to a parade and it's like it survived and everyone's like yeah we need more wheelchairs <laughs> we need more wheelchair people yeah so what is going on i mean they're reopening texas but i'm i'm reading the news and things are going nuts so rachel yeah. maddow was like y'all are dumb maybe she's right i read it a um, article that was like Texas leads coronavirus in like giant sur it le leads coronaviruses. No, fuck, damn it, Texas. Le okay, <laughs> all right. Hold on, it's okay because we can always uh, edit it and make it so smooth. It'll be so smooth. Texas, <sighs> fuck. You're like the guy in the commercial for. Uh, Liberty Mutual. 
Liberty, liberty, liberty. And he's like, bibbity luchua. Bibbity schmibbity. You ever see that one? I've never seen that one. Okay, here we go. Study. Texas leads the country at coronavirus spread. Really? Mm-hmm. That's just because we're spread out. I still don't think we have as many as New York. New York is like 300,000 or something. You know, I'm part of a group on Facebook called... A group you can only join if you're ugly, but we actually check. Ooh. How'd you get in? (laughs) Wow. Applause. Man of the year over here. I would never apply. I'm in that group, and then I'm also in a group called a group you can only join if you're pretty but we actually check well that just shows that it's all subjective i know it's just back to me being ugly we're really good at circling things back that's not a callback i mean a callback to grace grace is ugly third time callback in the show grace is ugly all right yeah that's is that the anchor is that the anchor of our show? All right, no pun intended there, but is that the anchor of our show? It's called Take a Break from Thinking That Grace is Ugly with Grace Kirk and Antonio Aguilar. So you think that what people do while they're not listening to the show is just look at pictures of you and think about how ugly you are, and then they put the show on yeah. and like, all right, <laughs> now, now I can listen to her. Oh, I can't see how ugly she is, so this is better. I can just l- – she doesn't <laughs> sound ugly. They're like, thank God they stopped doing the video. Yeah, they did one video, and then Antonio got jealous that all the comments were about how Grace is hot AF. Okay, that's from... Okay, if they come from women, then it doesn't count. I didn't know it was a woman. Dulce is a woman's name. I didn't read... Okay, so a woman still counts. Actually, oh my gosh, you know what? If you do look at the way women bullshit each other on the internet, it is ridiculous. Yeah. I know, like, friends will always tell their friend that they're hot, even if they aren't. That's what women do. So it doesn't count. It also doesn't count if a guy I don't like compliments me. It only counts if it's a family member, because they're the harshest, or a guy who I like. Or both, because this is the South, baby. (laughs) Yeehaw! You actually said ye and then you ha 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 ha. That's because I'm an authentic Texan. Born and raised. That's how Texans laugh. They go ye ha ha ha. Yeah. Because they're like, life is so funny and cool. Ha ha ha. That would be a great name for a comedy club in Texas. Ye ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm going to start it. Maybe not that third ha. Maybe just ye ha ha. No. Yee ha 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 sounds better. Really? Say it. Yee ha ha ha? No, it's too many ha's. We're gonna go to the yee ha ha. No, the yee ha 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 sounds better. Hey, yo, folks, welcome to the yee ha ha ha, not yee ha ha. That's like, it's like you're cutting it off too early. Well, there's the yee ha ha, and that's across the town, to- that's the other side of town. Then there's the yee ha ha ha, and they're competitors. I have to pee. Hold on. Hold your horses. We'll be right back. Okay, I really do have to pee really bad, so I'll be right back. So, yeah. I mean, we this is pretty... We I think we have a, an episode in here, Grace. All right. Was it good? I know you just, like, went and speed peed, and you didn't have to, but I think we... I think we have a... Yeah, I think, I think there was some good stuff. Okay. Because I know <laughs> we had, like, a few lulls, but... You mean I LOLs? Think, yeah, I think overall it's good. There's lulls and lols. That's a great name for a podcast. Yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> That's the new name. Lols and lols. Mostly lols, but listen for the come for the come for the lols, stay for the lols. How do we end this? I think this is I think just right now. I mean, no, I don't like it like that. Uh, dismount. Dismount's the hardest part. You know when like you dismount and then you like sprain your ankle. That's what we're doing. 
I don't know. I was always too fat to ride horses. Saying, I don't right. know what you mean. Like I'm saying, like I'm saying, like I'm saying. Like I'm saying. Like I'm saying.